How's it going YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be taking around 10 minutes of your guys' time and I'm going to be very briefly explaining the difference between a free coaster and a cassette and which one is better in my opinion. That being said, this video is going to be extremely opinion based. So if you guys have a different opinion on a free coaster or on a cassette, please leave a comment and I will reply to almost every comment. So the number one thing about free coasters over cassettes is that free coasters are silent. Free coasters don't make any noise whatsoever on a bike it's because it has a clutch instead of some paws and springs so let me break this down a little bit more for you guys pretend this is the driver of a cassette the cassette has little paws that stick out of the cassette and it's held by a little spring that goes all the way around it so when that touches the hub shell which is this and this hub shell also has little grits in it you guys will be seeing a picture of it right now but I'm going to be explaining it even more it has little grits in it too. So when the driver makes contact with the hub shell itself, it will spin. But when it goes backwards, the little paws will go down and it'll just make that clicking noise that you guys will hear. For a free coaster, it's really different. The hub shell, pretending my hand is the hub shell, has little slits and grits in it. The clutch that's connected to the driver, when you spin the driver, the clutch will go that way. Say if you started pedaling like that, the clutch will go more towards the hub shell making that clutch that has little teeth on it along with the hub shell itself it will catch onto the hub shell and it will go and then when you pedal backwards that clutch will release because it won't be held by the driver anymore because you're going backwards so that being said that could be one advantage or disadvantage on how you see it on another note free coasters are expensive they're very expensive compared to cassettes you can get probably a cassette for like 80 bucks now Coasters, on the other hand, you'll be spending around $160 to $200 easily. But that's because the engineering and design of a free coaster is way more complex than a cassette. The cassette, all they have to pretty much worry about is bearings and a driver. Coasters, on the other hand, have to worry about spacers, it has to worry about a clutch, it has to worry about the little ball thing that holds a clutch in, it has to worry about the driver, it has to worry about all those parts. It's such a more complex design for such a thing that looks so simple. So take that as an advantage or disadvantage. Coasters have way more complex parts, making it easier to break. Cassettes, on the other hand, are quite difficult to break. I had a cassette that was seven years old that was ran through 30 riders, and it was perfectly fine when I had it. My coaster, on the other hand, along with many other coasters, they tend to break bearings, they tend to break the driver, they tend to do a lot of things that just makes it break. So here's the scoop. When you engage a free coaster, you don't have to pedal backwards in a fakie, and that is why most people get it, is for opening up more tricks. And before any comments start erupting about my free coaster setup, I'm very, very, very aware that my drive side hub guard is upside down. I don't know how that happened, but it's whatever. When you pedal down and you release, it's silent, but it also allows you to go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, without these cranks moving. But for some people, that's all right. They don't really care that much. But for others, there is something called slack, which means there is a ton of give before that coaster actually engaged to pedal. So many people will hit their knee on the stem. Many people will fall on their bike because they're not used to it. But let me tell you what, I rode it for probably six months now. I got used to it within the first week. So it's not that difficult to pretty much understand. It's just knowing that you can't just start pedaling right away and go fast because then you'll probably fall. So that being said, take that as an advantage or disadvantage that you can pedal backwards on a cassette, meaning that your feet will follow the way the bike goes, or you could get a coaster where it's pretty much just relying on your own balance. Now coming back here, speaking of balance, when it comes to coasters, a lot of people say coasters are way easier to balance than on a cassette. It's way easier to fakie. But for me, I'm different. I find it the complete opposite, mainly because when you're on a coaster, your feet aren't doing anything. And if you guys and if you guys think about it, when you're on a bike and you're staying stationary, you're not moving, it's hard to balance. You'll probably fall or you'll probably put a foot down. When you're just staying still on a bike, it's really hard to just stay still and stand up. When you're moving on a bike is when you actually can keep your balance. So take that in consideration with going backwards. If your feet are doing something, it will help you balance. It will help your body maintain that center balance point for you to get out of that fakie. On a coaster, your feet are staying still. They're not really doing anything, making it kind of sluggish and more harder to get out of a fakie and to pretty much maintain a fakie. Now, some people will say, dude, how come I could fakie on a coaster for mad long, but like, 
when it comes to cassette, I can only go like 10 feet. On a coaster, when you go backwards, you can't maintain speed, so you go fast, and you go really fast. So because you're going so fast, the balance will stay the same. You will not have difficulty faking. But on a cassette, when you're pedaling backwards, it's giving friction, which means that your bike will slow down eventually, no matter what. Now, I'm not the one to be talking trash about a coaster or a cassette because I kind of switch off between them every six months. I don't know why. It's like a season. Coasters actually open up a lot more tricks, such as fakie manuals, such as fakie hops, such as tons of tricks that are way harder on a cassette that's pretty much impossible. And surely I'm not saying that fakie manuals and all these coaster tricks are not able to be done on a cassette. I'm just saying that it's way easier and way more reasonable to do them on a coaster than a cassette. One more major difference between a coaster and a cassette is that coasters are very high maintenance. You have to grease a coaster every month, maybe two weeks to a month, just to keep it healthy and running. And I know some people are like, bro, I've had my coaster for a year and I didn't even grease it and it's still running perfectly fine. And all I have to say is congratulations, you played yourself. Sooner or later your coaster will have no grease and it will break. Sorry to break it to you. So very quickly, it is very important to grease your coaster and pretty much to maintain and clean your whole bike occasionally and re-grease everything. So for those of you guys who bought a coaster and did not know that you need to keep greasing them every two weeks to a month, click here or here, wherever it is on the screen, to go give a watch to my How to Grease a Free Coaster. That will help you guys so very much if you guys have a coaster and you guys have yet greased it. Cassettes, on the other hand, they don't really require any maintenance whatsoever. Once you get a cassette, you're good for seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 30 decades, 40 decades, anything. Cassettes will last forever if you keep them healthy and clean and you don't break them. So take that into consideration and take it as an advantage or disadvantage. So one more thing that's the very big tiebreaker is that coasters are way heavier than cassettes. Coaster complete wheels can weigh about three to four pounds as to a cassette that's probably a pound or two. So that being said, you're pretty much saving two pounds if any weight weenies are out there. You're pretty much saving a lot of weight if you ride a cassette. Now those numbers weren't close to being correct, but they're pretty close. All right, so now we are going to get into my opinions on a coaster versus cassette and when I was riding it and what I experienced. When I had a cassette, I progressed a lot. I learned a lot of tricks. Maybe it's just me, maybe it's just the cassette, but I learned a lot of tricks when I rode a cassette. When I got a coaster, I didn't learn anything. I've been on the same pretty much level, probably worse than it was about seven months ago. I got worse since I started riding a coaster, but it did help me gain a lot of bike control and it was fun. Coasters are completely fun. The main reason why I got a coaster was so I can have fun because I was kind of getting bored of just riding the same bike. I wanted to switch it up, so I got a coaster. So some tricks I learned on my cassette that I really thought I could do on my coaster perfectly were trucks, whips, and way more, tri way more tricks. And when I got the coaster, it was completely different. I still struggle with whips because when I kick a whip in midair, it's hard to catch cranks when your cranks are free moving which means that there's no engagement, which means that it's kind of hard to tell whether you're catching cranks or you're catching nothing. But there's one trick that I did do on my coaster that is the main reason why I got it, and that is being a 180 whip. I did a 180 whip five months ago, four months ago, and it was at cranks when it was open. And I tried getting a video of it, but for some reason I tried it like 400 times that day, and when I tried getting a video of it, I got crucified. And I'll probably throw the clip in right now. Hey, I have one more thing to wrap up this video if you guys are at the edge of your screen pretty much looking like this Well, I still don't know what to ride cassette free coaster and here's what I have to say if you guys want to ride a coaster And you guys want to get creative if you guys want to have fun if you guys If you guys want to get creative techie fun get a coaster 100 percent they are so fun and I really did not regret a thing buying it. If you guys are looking to progress, if you guys are looking for a more solid thing to ride, more trustworthy thing to ride, definitely get a cassette. Because although coasters are becoming the main thing now, cassettes will always 
have the roots in BMX. And that being said, cassettes are just so overwhelmingly amazing compared to coasters, in my opinion, that I think once I get my cassette, going back to a coaster will be in a few years once I am way, way better. So that being said, this video is coming to an end. If you guys found any information in this video useful to you, make sure you guys support this channel and click that subscribe button down below. And if you guys have yet already, make sure you guys click that little bell thingy on my channel to be notified when I post a video like this or any video in general. If you guys have any videos that you guys want me to make, please leave them in the comments below because I read the comments 100% and I reply to about 99% of them. So thank you guys so very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and peace.